Okay. You've gotten pretty good at this, haven't you? I'm learning. It's <laughs> the first the first video I did was kind of crazy, but uh, it, it's gotten better. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're live. All right, well, good morning, um, everyone. Vida del Norte here, uh, talking with Daniel Herrera this morning, and i um, just going to do a real casual conversation and talk about uh, just some of the things that he's doing currently and how his journey has led to where he is today. So welcome, Daniel. Welcome, and thank you for being on this morning. And thanks for bearing with the technical difficulties. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. So Daniel, I, I guess I want to kind of start out a little bit um, with you talking a little bit about Rhino and what Rhino is, and maybe you can kind of share your journey along the way as, as you're explaining it. All right. Well, Rhino, it's R-Y-N-O. It stands for Rewire Yourself with New Opportunities. And it's been a vision and a goal of mine to try and be a pathway navigator for people struggling with addiction and incarceration. I've been in recovery now for seven years uh, straight with no relapses. And I, you know, I've dealt with the struggle daily. Um, my mentors have definitely helped me get through it. But uh, first and foremost, my faith has been uh, there for me 100%. And, um, since getting with that and surrounding myself with positive people, you know, we did a project up in Cuesta this past summer. Uh, we were actually building out of recycled plastic. And we had so many members of the community come together and, and uh, build us up on that, that we've actually launched the business, the RPP, you know, repurposing plastic, repurposing lives. So, you know, just surrounding myself with positive people and, and doing positive things and keeping my faith in check, you know, deal, dealing with um, the disease of addiction has been a real challenge for me in, say, you know, a small town. You know, I was born and raised in Arroyo Hondo. You know, I've seen Taos and Questar, you know, change so much in the last 25 years, you know, my daughters are from there in Cuesta. I, I, I lived, I was a resident of Cuesta for about 13 years. And um, it's changed so much, but the disease has always kind of just been the same, but it's gotten worse. You know, uh, not until I was able to reach rock bottom, I guess a few times I was able to, I guess, survive that and, look for mentors to help me other than incarceration to try and be a better person. Um, so like I say, rewiring yourself for new opportunities, building with recycled plastic, uh, along with Todd Winward with Tilt, you know, Tops Initiative for Life together. You know, he's opened up a whole new pathway for me as far as taking the chance to risk crossing cultures and building bridges with different people to grow, I guess. And that wasn't uh, easy for, for me, you know, being raised in a small town, you know, with our Hispanic culture, you know, a lot of pride came with a lot of that. And uh, so, for me, it's been a, a real learning curve and being a pathway navigator to people in recovery has uh, has been a real gift. Yeah. You know, last, in 2018, I got my CPSW, you know, and I'm a certified peer support worker. So being a mentor for others and just sharing my recovery, my process of the disease has helped out quite a bit, not just myself, but others as well. Right. Awesome. That, you know, that I, I love what you said about taking that chance. You know, we, like you said, we grew up in these small communities and we, we, we stay with our, 
with our rasa, with our culture. And we, we are afraid to step out of that box sometimes and we, 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 we become stuck. I, I think we stay stuck sometimes. And then we, become, we get into that cycle of generational patterns that we, we stay stuck in. And, and, and a lot of that is um, you know, substance misuse and, and use. And, and I like what you said, uh, what did you call it? A pathway to? The pathway navigator. Pathway pathway. That, yeah, that, that, that's a great term because that's exactly what a what a journey is, right? This whole journey of life is exactly that. It's a pathway. It's a, it's a way we take different paths, and and I really like that you said that you know you're a pathway navigator. That that's really right. cool. Um, the the peer support specialist part of it, um, I I really love that you've taken that uh, that role on because that's that those are the people we need in recovery right we we need people who have gone through the experience and have come into recovery you you're seven years clean now yes that's so awesome i i really applaud you for that because it takes a lot of courage to get to that point and like you said you struggle every day so yes. thank you very thank much you. If, if someone if someone were to need support from you, how, how would they get in contact with you? They could just email me at danzarohondo at gmail. You can put that yeah, I'll put it email in the address chat. out there. Yeah. Where, and um, uh, just reach out to me and um, we could set something up. You know, I like to keep everything real personal, you know, so we can meet and see what the struggle is or just hit me up on Facebook too, you know, private, private message me and uh, we can figure something out. And what was that email again? Dan's auto hondo at Gmail. Okay. I'm going to put that in the Facebook uh, chat. Cool. Yeah, so um, is there anything else? I, I, I kind of also wanted to talk a little bit about the pl plastic repurposing, because um, that, that's been a really great project. And you, uh, you said it yourself, um, taking it to a whole business level, where it started out as a, as right. a project, and then, it, and then it moved into a business. Right. It's been really good, you know, since they closed the, the recycling center in Taos, you know, people had nowhere to put their plastic in the recyclables. Mm -hmm. So as we started collecting, you know, Doug Eichelberger came to us with the idea of actually being able to build structures, build walls with it. And uh, so as we started rolling out the idea, you know, I was just amazed on how much plastic there actually is in a small community. You know, the project that we just finished is a, is a small tool shed and we put over 2,000 bags of plastic in there that we save from going to the recycle center. You know, so it's just, um, you know, we compact it, put it in gabion baskets, lined with chicken wire, you know, and it's, it's something that everybody can do at home. It's not no real science to it, you know. It's just separating your plastic and uh, putting the baskets together. And uh, you don't need no power tools. You just kind of step on it, compact it, pass it, plastic it in there, compact it and cover it and uh, stucco it. Yeah. Yeah, they look, I, they, the bancos that you guys did at the farmer's market look really nice. So um, anybody who's watching, if you guys stop by the farmer's market, check out the, the benches that are made there. And, and, uh, and if you are into uh, recycling, you have a drop-off site here in Cuesta now? We do at the old videos at home. The movies at home, they're right off Highway 522. There's a box right in front. And, um, you know, we have a, a website repurposingplastictaos.com and you can go and sign up be one of our subscribers and uh five five bucks for six months you get 12 stickers and be able to do something good with your plastic you know right. instead of just throwing it into the landfill and from there we take it and uh, we're actually getting a baler so it'll save us a little bit of time on uh hand stomping all that plastic that's that's the what takes the longest is having to compact all that plastic and put it in there right. so now with a baler we'll be able to do twice as much. So looking forward to it. 
Yeah, that's really awesome. I, that's, that's really cool that you're doing that, Daniel. I really appreciate you giving back to our community. I know you grew up in Arroyo Hondo, but your parents, you know, have kind of set up some roots here in Cuesta and, uh, right. and you've kind of continued uh, to, to build on that. So we, we appreciate you doing what you do for our community and especially in the, in the, in the prevention world and the substance abuse world, we really do need more people to share your story, your, their stories. And I, I'm a firm believer that we heal through story. So um, I, I, I'm grateful that you came on this morning and, and shared a little bit about your, your recovery journey and, and where you're at now. And thank you, Maria. Keep on right. going. We really appreciate that. And uh, you know, after the pandemic, once we start being able to get together again, conjuntos, you know, I'd like to have a few meetings up in our Cuesta property, you know, up by the old apple trees, you know, by the garden, by the acequia, you know, the the ceremony, the healing of it, you know, I'm trying to get together uh, a sweat lodge there. Oh, cool. So um, hopefully we get to see new and exciting things this coming summer and uh, we can get together and uh, pray, sweat, and talk a little bit about recovery. So thank you for having me on this morning as well. Yeah, of course. And if you if you ever need anything from our side um, with Vida, you know that you are always have a partner with us. So just make sure you reach out to us and we'll, we'll help get things going in any way we can. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Daniel. You have yourself a, a good day and a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays to you as well. Thank you very much. You're All welcome. right. Bye. I just want to thank Daniel uh, for coming on this morning and um, wanted to uh, just let everybody know that these are the things that we're doing. We're, we're trying to bring more awareness to recovery because recovery is possible. And uh, we want to make sure that people know that there are resources out there and that that you're not alone. And um, you know, look, look at look at where he's come. It's he has he's gone from, you know, this place of sometimes where when you're in in that disease, you're not in a very good place, but you can grow and, and come out and, you know, be a productive member of society. So um, with that being said, um, we will not have coffee and conversation next week or the following because of the holidays. Um, we'll resume again um, after the new year, but I really uh, appreciate whoever's watching and um, and and seeing our 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 lives on Facebook. And um, I hope that we're reaching people, and I hope that we're getting the word out that you know we're here and we're here to help, and we're here to help the community. All right. And with that being said, you all have yourselves a good, happy holiday and a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe and stay blessed.